Right, so we're going to make a glitch edit in photo piece. I'm going to use one of these pictures here in my Google Drive. Right click on it, open with photo P. There we go. First off, I'm going to see if there's any minor edits that I can use, um, do with this tool here, the Spot Healing Brush tool that looks like a plaster on the left hand side of the screen. So if I want to make my brush bigger, I can just change the size up here, or I could use my square brackets. And what I'm gonna do on there is if I just click over any slight blemishes in the skin, it's just something that people or photographers would do um, if they were putting their work in a magazine, just, you don't have to do many. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to make the picture black and white first. So I'm going to do that by going on image up here and then adjustments and then black and white. Okay, I could play around with these, but... Um, I'm kind of happy with that anyway, so okay. Right, now I need to make a duplicate layer of this background. So I need to, if I'm on a Chromebook or a PC at home, I would press Control and J. If I'm on a MacBook, I would press Command and J to duplicate the background layer. So I've got two of it now. Okay. On this background copy, I'm going to double click on it, but not over where the text is. I'm going to double click on this space here, double click. And then my layer style menu pops up. I'm going to unclick on the channels. I'm going to unclick on B for blue and G for green. This will make sense as to why very shortly. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. I'm going to click on the move tool now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this layer across to the side. Ah, there you see. So what it's done is it's created or that layer style has just taken away some of the colour. So it's leaving us with a blue and red image but with the black and white one underneath. So I'm going to place that just slightly there and my image is done so now i'm going to save it file i'm going to save it as a psd file okay that's just thrown it down to my computer but i also need it as a jpeg for my google slides and I also need to screenshot bits, so actually I might just do that quickly. So um, if you're on PC or whatever at home, then you might use a clipping tool or whatever it is. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use my command FN shift 4 so that I can just get a little crop of that. And that is my screenshot, which will go on my slides. So I'll just show you what... I've managed to get that's that that can go on my slides and I'm going to save if I save it straight into Google Drive now or overwrite the original image so you've got to decide whether you want to do that or whether it's better to export it as a JPEG and then save it into your Google Drive yourself so I don't want to write over that original image because it isn't mine I'm going to save it there, I'm going to make sure that the quality is super high and press save. Okay, so I've got that image now and I'm going to save it. Okay, done.